what is going on guys and once again welcome back to fears to fathom so this is the third episode uh called carson house so this one seems pretty spooky so guys we're gonna get in and see how we enjoy it and you know what to do if you do enjoy let's get in fears to fathom episode three carson house september 24th my name is noah i'm a 28 year old male from the midwest I have no idea why I'm sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18. But I remember the incident like it was yesterday, as the trauma did take a major part of my life. Okay. For a little background, my dad was a retail, retail, realtor. My dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. But one day he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days and needed somebody he could trust to watch over the house. Okay, the man worked as a COO at a local media company. That's told me the man would pay me $100 just to watch the house and do some basic chores. I accepted the offer as I had nothing interesting going on for the weekend. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. Plus, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from. My dad drove me to the house. Oh wow, hello, we're right in. Alright, so we're in like a laundrette. What do I do? No, it's one stuff for lost or stolen articles. Am I meant to be going down there? Am I an employee? I don't think I'm an employee here. Oh. I got like text at the bottom or something. Can I play a game? I have no idea what I'm meant to be doing. Why am I just in a laundry? Am I like washing my clothes? There's nothing here. Can I? I can't open the door. Do I go down to the employees only section? I guess that's the only place I can go to at the minute. Whoa, what the hell? Okay, that was trippy. Why are you telling me to sprint? I honestly thought someone's following me. Why is my... Oh, I can open all of these. What am I doing? Am I, like, dreaming or something? Who's this? Bleach. Where did you put it? Where did you put it in? What is this place? Where's the bleach? I need bleach. Where even is this place? Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. I said I need bleach. Noah? Noah? Nap time's over. We're here. We're here. You said you could do this. Wake up now. Wake up now. Noah, wake up. Ah, uh, so he was dreaming. Breaking the game. Alright, what do I. No, wake up! How long did I doze off for? Doesn't matter, can you do this now? I got this. Roy called and said the key should be under the fake rock. Got it. He said that it's in the backyard. Like I said, keep the doors locked and don't open the door for anyone. I heard you first time. Okay, now get your ass to work. I hope you know I'm only a unit for the snacks. Alright. We're at the house. Bye, Dad. It was a nice neighborhood. Yeah, this neighborhood seems pretty nice. I had to get the key from the back. Oh, yeah. The key was hidden in the backyard. Under a fake rock, supposedly. Alright, so... Ah, is this it? That looks like a rock to me. That's a flower. Oh, is that it? Fake key rock. Yeah. Oh, it's a little puppy. I swear to, I swear, if anything happens to that puppy, I, I will, I will not be happy. Hey, why would you leave your dog locked outside? 
That just doesn't seem very good to me. Alright, so that's the front door. That's all good. We'll just lock that back up, bolt it. I had to pee. Alright. Um, do not disturb for any reason. Whoa. Oh, so you're like a- this dude's like a photographer? I think? Alright, we shouldn't have disturbed that. Alright, we need to find the bathroom. So let's head upstairs. I realise this house was way bigger than ours. Yeah, it's a massive house. I really had to be- Alright, I'm trying to- Open it from there. Okay. Whoa, okay. Oh, is this a laundry room? Why don't I just see the mic? Oh god, I've been in it! I need to find the bathroom. That's not the bathroom. Here's the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> Doing the business. Awkward, isn't it? All right, make sure you wash your hands. You stinky, you're not washing your hands. All right, oh, we got messages again. Messages from Evelyn. Oh, god, this school is full of a holes. I know, right? But I don't think you're an a hole. I don't think you're either. Let me call you in a bit. Pick up. I really, I really wish you could come tonight. Me too. Oh god, no. Stop! I need to... Stop! Okay. Wish you could me to things you could do. Keep your old man happy. You know, I haven't been a good kid to him. If your dad doesn't think you're a good kid, I don't know what mine thinks about me. I think... I just think I really disappoint him with Kara. Not again, Noah. You have to stop beating yourself up about it. Wait. Stop! Uh, wait, stop, uh, why is it keep freaking, Kara, uh, we have to stop beating yourself about it, wait, did you, that bitch call you again, I can't help but feel so stupid, it wasn't your fault, period, anyways, you got, you got some making up to do here, the garage next weekend, wink, wink, 100%, 100%, aw, it's a little boy, boy, I want to see jealous of Ava. <laughs> I know, right? Weirdest room ever. Okay, this is Roy. Thanks for taking up this job, kid. I really appreciate you doing this. I mean, so I had to leave. Mr. Carson? My bad, it's Roy. Got this contact from Walter. Work is really getting the best of me here. Oh, no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure. It's, he's my dad. I wouldn't have asked if, for anyone if it was for Zeke. Zeke? Boy's been pretty sick lately. Oh, I'll take care of him in the house. And that, now that I'm here, you have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. You're a lifesaver kid. Speaking of him, I want you to find him his dinner time. If you get him some dog food from the basement, right on it. Alright, so we gotta feed the puppy. Alright, so we gotta feed the little puppy. Where would the basement be? Is the puppy out here? Hi, puppy! Are you hungry? Are you hungry, pup? Oh god, not basement. Basement was a little too dark. Uh, was there a light switch? Do I have a flashlight? What do I do about that? What do I do about... Once you're at a project, the lights amazing. You can grab the flashlight from the storage room upstairs. Okay, storage room upstairs. Let's just close that because I don't feel comfortable with the doors open. Storage room upstairs. I don't know where the storage room is. Nope, that's the bathroom. That's the bedroom. There's so many rooms! Is this it? This seems like a storage area. Hey. I did not mean to do that. Alright, now we got a bit of a light. Got a bit more light. Let's go and get some food for the dog. Oh god, this is why I... I would not want to live with a house with a basement in. Basements creep me the hell out. Like, 
Where's the... That's not dog food, is it? Oh, it is. It's dog food. Okay, we got the dog food. Do we have, like, dry biscuits or is that what he has? Right, kitchen area. He would eat in the kitchen, right? Where do I put his dog food? <laughs> Alright, we can... I did not mean to do that. Wait, can I pick that up again? Good. Do you see he has his dog ball outside? That's so mean. You can't just let your dog eat outside. Oh, he does. How do I... What do I do? How to open it? God damn it. Why is this so, like, creepy? We got, like, a tin opener? How do I- oh. Is that it? Oh, I can- Ah, oh, there we go! Perfect. Alright, let's feed the dog. What is with this atmosphere? It's really creepy. Hi, boy! Do I put it- no, oh, no, he was this bold. And... Where is the puppy? I haven't seen him in a little bit. I heard- I heard a pant. Let's just put that in the bin. Alright, puppy, your food's out here. Hi, boy! Hi! Oh god, no. Put it in the bin. That will do. Can I pet? I want a pet. Okay, never mind. Alright, dog's been fed. That's all good. Seems all good out here. Right, what do I do now? Any more messages? Okay, no more messages. Do I go upstairs do my math homework? Because I see a math notebook at the corner there. Which room do I stay in? Bathroom. Spare bedroom. I don't know. I haven't had like a. Can I go to bed? Whoa, it's so dark in here. Why is it so dark? I don't like that it's really dark in this house. Boy, okay. Hey kid, her from Walter, you're a computer with her. I have a favor to ask. My computer's been acting weird recently. My whole security system is tied to it. Oh yeah, you got a whole security system set up here. Yeah, he does. He was... He was down here, right? Yeah, look at all this. Why is that blocked? I wasn't even gonna try to open it. That's like all the... Servers. Had a lot of expensive equipment laying around, don't want anything happening to it. That's fine. I remember I was doing calculus that night. Yeah, I decided I'll take a look at your computer. Alright. Oh, I need a password? Meow, meow. Oh, I don't know the password. Um... Is there any, like, hints? Oh god, no. I think he's... Oh, I'll... Carson5387. Five, three, eight, seven. Hey, we got it. Cool, cool, cool. Whoa, okay. I net. Oh. Critical error. Okay. Guess the flag. Oh, damn it. Restore. I don't know what I'm doing. Preacher. Okay, I don't want to do that. Okay, so what are we meant to do? Okay, um... 
Am I meant to try and recover the computer? I don't know what I'm meant to do. It's giving me errors. What is this? Oh, a guy to bring you a better person. Okay, in this video you'll be covering how to talk like a better person. <laughs> okay, feel free to take a break whenever needed. Step one, don't be rude. Officer. Being rude will discourage people from talking to you. That was a bit weird. Sorry, it appears that something is wrong with the broadcast. In the meantime, enjoy some happy images. I don't think they're going to be that happy, are they? It's a puppy. <laughs> Step two. Remain calm in, in any conversation. Why has he got no eyes? Hello. Oh, now even though that he said it was controversial, did you stay calm? The secret to being calm is to not let your feelings interfere with the conversation. Being calm makes you a better person. I'm calm. I'm very calm. That's all we have for you today. Okay. Alright. That's, that's just that. That was weird. Okay. Um. Nope. Can I recover this? I don't know. Alright. Um. Get yeah, full protection. Better is I'm making a difference. Now, now, now. I don't know. I don't know if this is the right thing. I'm just downloading a weird antivirus on someone else's computer. <sighs> it's not good. It's not, not good. Welcome to antivirus. Perform full scan. Hopefully this will open up all the programs. And make sure that the computer is working to full efficiency. Okay, threat. Okay, remove. Rainbow systems. Is that a Trojan horse? Virus? Is that, is that what it is? Okay, done. Clues, alright. Can we... <gasps> it's Five Nights at Freddy's! <laughs> Oh, hell no. Oh, that's the basement. Holy damn. Oh, the puppy's eating his food. Okay. That is pretty cool. Let's see what Mr. Carson told that to my kid. It said it was just some Trojan. I'd recommend you only download software from trusted websites. So that's my kid, but thanks. I'll drop you a nice when I get back. This had the weirdest dream. Oh, what was it about? Weird reminds me of cooking with Jeffrey on Channel 10 last night. By the way, the return must be on right now. You gotta watch with me. Wait, that place got TV? Yeah, hold on. Alright, so we gonna watch a program. We got security in this. <laughs> Alright, and so we can- we got security cameras. Oh yeah, look. Got a camera right there. This is like all sorts of messed up. So that's our room. That is messed up. There's- okay, so this is where we gotta hide, I think. From the threat. It's apparently, um... If I remember correctly, this guy met a woman and she went a bit crazy or like she was into all sorts of messed up things and whatnot. Where's the living room in this place? Oh, this house is too big. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's a nice house though. You got two like 
Living rooms? Oh, that's like a... that's the... Alright, we're gonna watch some TV. Cooking with Jeffrey. 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 Hi, Jeffrey. Today we are cooking. Interesting. It's only watching it's cat food. It's super enjoyable and healthy. It's my favorite dish. <laughs> that just look delicious? We can't eat this. It's raw. So first, we are going to gently pour the cat food. Onto this conveniently placed pan on a stove. It reminds me of when Markiplier tried to like dissect cat food to eat the meat. The oh god, the sizzle. Like a baby suckling upon a mother's bosom. What the okay. fuck? Okay, now while that's cooking. Jeffrey must be really just be Jeffrey sometimes. I will be preparing what I'm just waiting to see if someone's like at the windows. Cardboard dipped in milk. Some cardboard, a glass, and some milk. I'm really, really worried that someone's gonna be walking up the stairs because I saw that in the last episode. It's handsome Squidward. Next, we dip the Why is handsome Squidward in this? So that's we get. Also, I think you should get the groceries for this truck. There's some cash on my nightstand. Raj, right, shall we jelly? I'm on it, Mr. Carson. Alright. Alright, that is just messed up. Alright, so we gotta get some groceries from Mr. Carlson. Oh god, I keep opening the wrong freaking door. Um, is this his bedroom or is this his kid's bedroom? Probably his kid's bedroom. His bedroom's probably the big one. That's. Oh god, I hate these ads. No. Oh god. Oh, oh, what, why? <laughs> Is this not his room? There we go. Cash. Right, let's get out of here. We can get some groceries. No, I bet you're missing the best part. I know, I'm sorry. Sorry, I gotta run this dude's on my ass right now. Wants me to get groceries in the middle of the night. No, but you're missing the best part. For your trouble, get yourself, yourself, get something for yourself as well. It's on the house. Nice. That that's nice. Oh god, you can take Alex back. It's outside the garage. Okay. Mom was too lazy to model the garage. <laughs> Mom's a developer. That's amazing. <laughs> Alright, um, I don't know where the grocery store is, so I'm just gonna go anyway, I'm sure we'll get there. Oh god, I cannot do this. I'm sure we'll get to some sort of grocery store. Okay, it's blacking out already. I'm very worried. 9.22 p.m. Do some parkour. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Alright. Do we grab a basket? Can we grab that? Okay. So... We needed ranch, strawberry jelly, so that's strawberry jelly. Is that ranch? I don't know, that's mayonnaise. Um, peanuts, ranch, uh, chocolate spread. Don't think it's here. Oh, that's that. Um, milk and eggs, get garden peas. Milk and eggs, okay. Milk would be in like a fridge, right? Mm. Oh, speak of the devil. So, Andy, bro, your girl was here. She just left. My girl? What was her name? Cara or something? Dude, I said they're not dating anymore. 
Oh yeah, he hopped to that other chick so quickly I didn't even realise. Don't listen to him, but she just bought some tons and tons of cans. I think she's throwing like a party or something, you know, anything about it? Well, she looks way older without the makeup. Milf energy, bro. Ew, I think she's more like a goth. Goth milf energy, are you guys done? Anyways, dude, what are you up to tonight? My house sitting for this guy. You mean that Alex? He goes to my school with my sister. Her kid's a rude, real weirdo, especially since his parents split up. Yeah, you guys have fun. Alright, dude, we'll see you at school on Monday then. See you around. Alright, milk and eggs. Hey, son, do you work here? No. Okay. What is it? My son likes mustard. I just came here looking for it. But I can't find it for the life of me. Do you know where it is? Um. Hold on, let me look for it. Why have I got to get mustard for other people? Milk. We've got milk. We need eggs. Is there like cartons of eggs? Rice. Did he say rice? Get honey. Rice. Uncle Tony. Uncle Tony's. Uh, spaghetti. Uncle Tony's rice. That's that. Uh, bread and stuff. Uh, who's humming? I don't like that humming. The sage wanted mustard. Curry sauce. Mustard. That woman wanted mustard, right? I, I was about to give it to you. Okay, I think that's everything now. Yes, please. Alright, that's everything. Alright, thank you for shopping. Alright, let's get out of here. Get back home. Well, I'm just crashing into cars, it's fine. Alright, let's go. Oh god. It's so dark. I can't remember which way I came. Let's go down this way. There we go. You know, I guess whichever way you go will just black out and get you to the house anyway. Okay. Is this the house? Alright, get off the bike. What the freak? Why did it just... Why did it just bounce all the other side of the road? Wait, which house is the one I have to get to? Can't remember. Why are all my lights on? Okay. Alright, we got groceries. Put these in the kitchen. Don't have to put them away. You know what? I'm just gonna put put the groceries there. Kept the groceries in the kitchen. Thought I'd get some schoolwork done now. All right. Yeah, it's weird. It's a lot brighter in here now. Someone's in here and turning the lights on. Right, let's get some schoolwork done. I did not want to go on the computer. But let's see. Can we see anyone? Really wondering if we're gonna see anyone in these cameras. That'd be interesting to see. Oh, look at the popper. Oh, 
I'm just double checking each camera. Alright, I think we're safe for now. <laughs> the boys and their peeing. Where is the bathroom from here? Nope. Okay, here we go. Do we have a bed for you guys? I want to pee so often. I was done with that, okay. Let's get back to our homework. But I really don't miss homework, that's a that's a thing I really don't. Whoa, okay. Dude, you said you're at Carson's, right? You need to see this. Search up Roy Carson's tour on Inset right now. Oh. But I was I was going to put okay. Roy Carson's divorce. Alright, Roy. Arson uh, divorce. Oh, Roy Carson co-founder of BM Media claims to be receiving death threats from angry fans of ex-wife. Oh, it's not unusual for audience to be nosy about some of the celebrities' personal matters, but sometimes it's just too overbearing. We see something similar with the case of Roy Carson, the COO of co-founder of BM Media. At his very public breakup of divorce, with his wife, former actress Alyssa Brown had allegedly been receiving death threats from fans of Alyssa Brown from the rumored infidelity that underwent within the relationship. It's also say Roy Carson had been knocking; people had been knocking on his door to confront him. To confront him, Alyssa had been very vocal about the relationship, but the hunter is actually trying to search her out, out, reach out to her. So you, the reader, stay, stay updated about the situation. Someone's been knocking at my door. Oh, that had a flash. Is that a delivery dude? They look like he had a bag. Like a delivery person, you know what I mean? Get eat, just eats. Who would be ringing the bell at this time of night? Alright dude, I'm coming. Who was it? Your delivery from one medium size... What delivery? Your one medium size pepperoni pizza. You must be at the wrong address. This is 244 Boulevard, right? That's correct. Sorted, sorted by the name of... Um, Roy Carson? <laughs> yeah, take. What the fuck? You don't have to do that. Hey, this is probably a very strange request, but do you think I can wait inside while the rain's over? Probably not very safe around here right now, and I've got my raincoat. I'm not sure my dad would like that. Oh, I understand. Well, you should have a good day. Sorry, dude. You just try to get to shelter. I don't trust anyone hey we got some pizza can i sit down and enjoy this uh probably should put the tv on first and enjoy ourselves so goodbye to pizza pizza was nice and despite and hot despite the rain What is this program you're watching? This is like... Because you can't look around very much, so I don't know if anyone's behind me. Pizza sounds good though, right now. Real good. Hope everything's okay. I'm fine, Evelyn. Look out for some pizza, you should arrive anyway now, enjoy. Sorry, got go caught. Good night, Eve. Night. Sweet dreams. What the freak? What the radius of two squares? What think about sparing me? 
My name is Jack Barnett. I have been held in that. Sir Holland for 37 days. I heard someone at the he door again. I solve math work until my head hurts. I can't escape. All right. We had one Can slice I... left, though. Who is it? Uh, I'm gonna look at the cameras for this one. We left one slice of pizza. Like, just one slice of pizza. Alright, let's look at the cameras again. We got... Ooh! Crazy bitch! Come into my house. Wait, why is that not down? Has that always been like that? There's something by the door. Is the puppet gonna be okay? That's all I care about right now. I only care about the puppet. Papa is all I care about. Alright, let's uh, open the door. I think it's safe. I don't know, though. No. We saw like some flowers. Who is it? I didn't know what to make of it. Where do you want to leave them? Okay, I'll just leave them there. Oh. Are they open? Okay, no. I thought these windows were open. Can I see the person out here? Can I turn these lights off? Because I'm, I'm very vulnerable. Vulnerable right now. Now I can't even speak English. I can't see anyone out there. I'm check the messages. No more new messages. I don't see anyone out there. No one's out there. Nothing. I see no one. <laughs> Backyard seems good. I'm checking every inch of this house. Because there is someone. I ain't going out there. Okay, so do I just go back upstairs and finish my homework? Or do I like text? my dad about the flowers. I don't know though. Oh. How are you? What did you have for dinner? I assumed it was a wrong number. Ha! Huh, you assumed wrong, buddy. It's your crazy ex. It, it was strange, but I, th I just missed it. Besides, I had a lot, lot of work to catch up on. Yeah. Right, let's uh... Thought I had that pizza first. Oh god damn it, I have to eat that last slice. Just that one minuscule slice of pizza. Have it cold in the morning. It's always better cold in the morning. Leftover pizza is always better in the morning. Alright, let's just... Thought I could watch the TV while eating. You got one slice. Okay, now you're done. <laughs> Right, let's put this near a bin. There we go, there's a bin. <laughs> let's get back to what we were meant to be doing. Okay, so let's check the cameras. Do, 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 do. Let's check them. Do I see anyone? I don't see anyone. 
Is there just gonna be like a moment where she just appears? Or she's just gonna be like in the cameras for one split second? Okay. I think we're safe for now. Engrossment. Is that is that a is that safe to do? Okay. I guess we done our homework. Good stuff. Homework's always important to do. The doggo! No! I swear, if anything happens to that doggo. While I was in the middle of my school, like, the power went off. Are you by yourself? Why'd you keep ignoring me? Are you always serene, sweet? You're being very mature right now. Fine. Come on, I don't need you. It's totally so much hotter, anyways. Who are you? Oh my god, I can barely see anything. I knew guys like him very well, yeah. Doing a prank. Right, where's that little torch? Oh. Where did I put that torch? Where did I put that light? I left it in the kitchen, right? Yeah. I've got. Don't do that. Oh, okay. Okay. Where would the power be? It wouldn't be outside, right? Power wouldn't be downstairs. I swear if that girl hurts the dog, I won't be very happy. I shouldn't be going outside, right? Right? That doesn't seem very safe. It was suddenly very cold outside. Wait, where is the dog? I hear him barking. Where are you, buddy? Okay, you turn the power back on. It's alright, dude. Turn the power back on. Hey, buddy. Zeke was acting very weird. Had to be turning. He's starting to piss me off now. Damn it. Alright, Zeke. You're alright, buddy. Buddy, what's up? What's up, buddy? Where is that light I put down? I need my need might need that flashlight, dude. Bug it, I should be fine. You wanna come in, buddy? What? Why did it just sound like someone was walking in my house? You said we'd be friends, said so it's not funny, I know it's you. I'm like nervous now. I'ma just go and I had to get back to my work for school on Monday. Yeah. If something's gonna happen, isn't it? Something's gonna happen, disturb me, disturb my work. And you're up very late doing your homework. I had a strange gut feeling about the situation. Yeah, I might sound sober now, but I just didn't want to overthink things. Yeah. God damn it. I heard something that says. Why is the oven on?
I'm trying to do my homework. Ooh. Oh. Someone's trashed this place up. Loki made me very uncomfortable to notice he was in the house. It wouldn't make you Loki uncomfortable, dude. You need to phone the police. I don't have his contact. I can only ask Andy. Can you ask. send me to his contact? Ask him to quit messing. He's messing with what? He's messing with me! In that moment, schoolwork became the least of my worries. He's in my place right now. Uh. The only thing I just keep an eye on. Don't you think by the times I was doing quite my own thoughts? Do you think we're going to go movies? Uh. I am freaking out right now. But my heart skip a beat. What is she doing? She's checking all the rooms. Oh my god. <laughs> what do we do? I know I have to hide in this one, but. This is making me so uncomfortable. Yeah, it's all. Just checking all the doors. Oh my gosh. That's the door I'm in. Go to the door, do I? Ah! I didn't realize the door would freaking open. Noah. She was outside the door of the room I was in. Noah. What do I do? Are you in there? I really missed you. What do I do? Do I just wait it out? Where is happening between us? We can work it out together. How do you even get in here? I've always been nothing but nice to you. But you always treat me like sh shit. I know everything. I know you left me for her. This is exactly why. But I love you. What about that? You need to leave right now. You deserve a second chance. You know, I can just turn you into the police for this. Do it and I'll fucking kill both of you. I 
don't want to go back on the cameras, do I? Do I? She's still up there. Why well, can't I have you? No one else should. I should make my move. Probably not. Does she check the door next to me? Probably. Before she comes here? Maybe. outside the door to the room I was in. Noah? Noah? Are you in there? I really missed you. I didn't miss you. That's happening, she's a good to get together. What you want? Always been nothing but nice to you. She's still there. Do I anger her by not answering? Okay, you need to leave. I know everything, I know you left me for her. It's different. But I love you, what about that? You need to leave. We deserve a second chance. You know I can turn you into police. Do it and I'll fucking go back with you. I think this is where I'm at my I left the house and ran down the block. My dad called the cops. Though by the time they arrived, she had already left the house, but I knew where she lived. Carl was one of the first people I met on a dating site. She was three years older than me, but I found her very cute, so we started dating. However, two months into our relationship, she started doing hard drugs. I tried to get her the help, but she turned it around on me as if I was trying to change her. One day, I had enough and had to break up with her. I told her to leave and never contact me again. She was pissed. She was trying to convince one of the cops that she didn't intend on doing anything wrong that night. But of course, the cop wasn't buying it. They reviewed the footage and it showed everything. From the point of her entry to the moment she grabbed the kitchen knife. But the thing that messed with me most with the, the, was the fact that, that nothing was stolen from the house. Turns out she was heavily under influence of drug and alcohol at the time. She was arrested and sentenced for a long while. Oh, we did it, we did it. Survived through the third episode. That was that. That was Carson House, guys. Woo. Well done to everyone involved with this. This has been very good, very creepy. Like, cause the thing that really, like, I really love about these is that it doesn't have like supernatural things or like ghosty things. It's based on like real events that can happen. Like, someone can break into your house, or someone could be stalking you, things like that. 
which is something that scares me so much because you just don't know what can happen in real life. But well done. On to the next episode and um, I'm back lookout next. So get ready for that guys and I'll see you all next time.